Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aquarius Weekly Money and Career Reading from January 29th to February the 4th, 2024. Aquarius, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aquarius Weekly Money and Career, January 29th to February 4th, 2024, for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word at the end of this reading. There will be a magic word if you're interested in putting your name on the list or in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do, too many cards, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comments section and be subscribed. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel a bit further, there are memberships available. Uh, you can click on the membership button. It'll take you wherever you wish to go. And it also uh, will give you access to questions on the live. Uh, I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully it'll see you there. If you wish to connect, you get a free, not free, you get access to questions um, if you're a member. All right, let's get started. Aquarius Weekly Money and Career, January 29th to the February 4th, 2024. I just did Leo. Very, very interesting reading. Let's see what energies we have. Aquarius, Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. Okay, so you're getting out of the um, energy of combativeness, competitiveness. Maybe you're getting out of a competitive job or it's calming down within your job. It's calming down within your sectors or with your coworkers or that, that sort of feel of having to protect your space or you know, dig right in and, and work and uh, fight. When I say fight, you know, fight for what you stand for or fight for whatever you need to fight for in your job, in your career energy with this seven of wands. It's at the same time protecting yourself, but at the same time, you know, moving forward, finding solutions, answering questions, choosing, deciding, uh, you know, the day-to-day -day work and it seems like it's moving into a calmer. So maybe it was a bit chaotic. It feels like it was chaotic or a lot to do. Maybe end of year decisions or I'm hearing collaborations that you had to make happen or something like that. Um, but here, as you move into a, a calmer energy, you're opening up you're seeing or feeling um, new opportunities, testing the waters. What's it going to be? I've decided or I pushed really hard in 2023 to make things happen. Now I'm feeling a shift, a change, or I feel I have to expand or adventure myself out a little bit, connect with new people, try new things or develop my business or take on another job, or maybe I'm interested in a new field. I want to, you know, study a little bit or, or, or gather information online or take classes or something like that. And here with the two of wands, it feels like you're preparing, you're planning, you're planning your future, you're choosing another path or you're choosing to expand your path. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to work internationally. Maybe you want to move. Maybe you want to work with other countries uh, and or get a job that involves traveling, right? You're, you, it feels like you're opening yourself to, to the world. You want to see the world. You want to discover the world, something like that. All right. Here we go. Yes, Page of Wands, all new, all new energies. Exciting, Page of Wands. It's new. 
you're enthusiastic, you're curious, and this is giving you a whole new inspiration here, opening up to the world. Whatever that means for you, nice. And the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So you're sealing a deal here, or someone's there to seal a deal, or someone's there to give you a sort of stamp of approval, or you're getting a diploma, or you're finalizing a contract, or maybe you're getting a loan, or you're starting that job, or you're structuring your business, you're becoming official, or right, or you're finally getting that job, and that is really stabilizing you financially, sort of long term financially with the Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Um, it it is after with the with the Ten of Pentacles, it, it, you're solidifying or you're um you're officializing right that new idea or that new energy or whatever it is you're planning it's happening and it's becoming reality here with the hierophant whether it's someone a manager or a guide or or someone giving you that green light it feels like it's happening with this Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you're getting money. Maybe you're getting money from an inheritance. Maybe you're getting more money <coughs> in a job. Or maybe you're finally getting that budget to make this business happen. Whatever it is, it feels like you're finding your financial stability. Financial comfort or you're comfortable with... You're, you're, you're getting out of this protective mode and you're really comfortable with where you stand and what you've chosen and what you're planning, whatever your idea, your project, your business, your life project, whatever it is, it feels like you're officializing it. King of Swords. air sign or there you are I feel like that's you yes I feel like once you reach that moment where okay it's done it's happening um, almost like sign sealed delivered you got this it's clear you're taking a breather right but you're also very clear on where you stand, how you're handling this, how this is going to happen, who who you are, right? What your responsibilities are, have you made it happen or whoever has helped you made it make it happen with this higher fint. You're happy, but you're also very clear. You're not going to take any BS and now you want a moment of peace and rest, tranquility, now that this has happened. It's almost like, okay, now I have my diplomas. I don't want that pressure from my family anymore. And now I'm going to move into my career, find that job or something. Or now that I have that job, or now that I've started my business, or now that I am got accepted in that school, or now that, right, whatever, now that I, you know, started my business, I'm now going to develop it my own way, or now I'm going to go on my journey my own way. I don't want to deal with anybody telling me how I have to do it, when, is it the right moment or not? Like I say, everyone has an opinion. Yes, here we have the Five of Swords, that. That's exactly it, right? Combating, this is who I am, this is what I want to be. This is where I stand. And you also have the Queen of Swords, Interesting, interesting, because I do feel, was it Leo or was it Pisces? One or the other, you might have Leo or Pisces in your chart. I believe it's Pisces, February 2024, that had King and Queens of Swords. Now, it doesn't have to be, but it just, it just gives me that energy of two people in your realm, in your environment, can be parents, can be friends, can be people you work with, 
co-workers or you know whatever it is people there that are um i want to say helping you guiding you but i feel like they are the people uh maybe judging you yet you are an air sign aquarius right so uh, i'm reading this both ways you are in your power in your clarity and your truth and you're not going to take any more bs you're going straight forward into your own financial stability and independence and 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 bringing back that sort of harmony and long-term financial sustainability right you're comfortable yet you're very strong in your words you're very strong in your opinion and you're not going to take no for an answer or you're not going to take other people's opinion in account you are you and you stand firm wow okay all right let's see aquarius what other energies we have lots of cards popping out Okay. So yes, we have the Nine of Swords. Not surprising. We have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and of course, the King and Queen of Swords. But I feel like that's the pressure, those decisions, the day-to-day -day pressure you have to start this thing or make this happen or make your money or be independent or get that job or get that diploma whatever it is right it will be different for each and every one of you that pressure that anxiety but here you you have the death card so you're you're finally realizing that this is the death of a cycle of a phase that you're moving into something else that you're moving into something more important for you as you let go those past disillusions, past um, um, uh, triggers or uh, emotions that, I don't wanna say they're not yours, but they, that no longer apply to your new energy, right? It's that death of a phase where you realize that this is, you know, this is going to be opening up to something new. The fact that you can let go or just let that be in the past, not that it didn't exist or not that it doesn't exist anymore, but let not let that be as cumbersome in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, that is going to push you to something more valuable, more interesting. And, and so these doors might open up as you, you know, and, and, and it's going to give you that energy or uh, make you more ready to receive, ready to receive and ready to embrace new ways, new ideas, new opportunities, new connections. So even if it's a little hard in the beginning because you have to sort of detach, I think that you're gonna understand the importance of the transformation, right? Even if sometimes we, we are a little uncomfortable or we don't understand it right away or we don't understand why we have to let go, it's, you know, sometimes we realize that and we're the only ones that can realize this, Aquarius. This is the only, that's something I say all the time. You're the only one that knows you. You're the only one that knows what you are feeling, uh, how it touches you, how it triggers you, how, you know, the, the ease at which you can move forward or the difficulties you, you feel, the resentments, the triggers you feel as you move forward and make choices within your path. So here it's about that promise of renewal and understanding that certain things did get in your way or might still be getting in your way and that those attachments, right, as you let them go, again, they're there, they still exist, that's okay, right? 
that's part of your life, part of your soul. They will always be there. But as you detach yourself a little bit emotionally, you're able to move into something more interesting, more important with a deeper meaning or deep or, or more significant for you in your energy. And here we have, there we go. The Ace of Wands, all new, accepting and accepting this renewal, accepting new types of energies, new connections, new ideas, new careers, new projects, new ways of making money. I think that everyone all over the world is understanding or at least trying to understand that things as chaotic as they are, we have to sort of stabilize personally as best we can. And I know it's not an easy path for sure to um, understand a little bit or connect to our own energies to be able to move forward, to make decisions, to find solutions, to find ideas, to make money, what, whatever it is, whatever it is for you. And here we have the three of wands. So you have the two of wands planning and I love it because you're moving on to the three of wands two to three making it happen you see it you you want that goal you are clear on your objectives or you know what you want you know what you want to create or you know in what direction you want to go into or you want you know what type of job or what type of project or whatever what type of company you want to work in right whatever it is and now you're moving into action. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is action forward. You know what it is. You know what it's all about. You know what it's going to take. And now it's happening. Three of Wands, right? So it can be moving. It can be change of jobs. It can be evolving in your own job. It can be starting your business. We have a, an Ace of Wands. So that's a beginning that's a new start. Love aces. Love aces. Are they easy? Not always. Not always, right? Because it's a new beginning. We're taking, we don't have the, the fool, but it's really like taking that leap of faith, believing in oneself and starting our business, believing in oneself and going out and getting that new job or trusting that we can work on that project or trusting that we can put our art out there or talent out there if you're a musician, an artist, whatever, right? This is this is the um the new dynamic. You're entering a whole new dynamic here with the ace of wands. Creativity, intuition, action. The beginning of your new goal, the beginning of building this new career, this new job, whatever it is with this 3 of wands success you can see and feel the success in the horizon because you're expanding because you're accepting maybe to do things differently to see things differently and adventure yourself on new ways new jobs maybe things you've never done before you're planning your success you're planning your future and i think that you're planning it with wisdom calm right we have the Six of Swords moving into something calmer, more gentle. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. <coughs> Whole new dynamic. Give me one moment, please. I have a little sip. Um, it's, it's magic happening. Be, you create this magic. You yourself. No one else is opening up to your own magic, right? Accepting that life is a constant change. Things are up and down, you know, but here it feels like things are going to get better and better from here, right? The wheel asks you to be optimistic. You're starting something new, starting a new job, a new business, a new career. You're moving, whatever, right? Um, have faith. Have faith as you move into something new. Send out those positive energies. And if you're if you're putting yourself in that in that energy of ex expansion, 
that's going to turn and 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 push you into a positive direction. So be open, be open to new ways, be open to new connections, be open to the help of others, be open to factors maybe outside of your control that are going to push you in the right direction. And this, even if it's a bit challenging, I think it's beautiful to accept, you know, this new energy and just go with it because I think that suddenly things are happening and suddenly you're moving forward on something maybe you didn't even think you would you would have done before so yes it's adapting to new maybe a little uncomfortable but my oh my it's the chance to turn things into a new direction all right let's see if there's one last message for the road Aquarius, a weekly money and career, January 29th to February 4th, 2024, for the sign of Aquarius. <coughs> All right, let's see what we have here. Five of Pentacles. And Queen of Cups. Yes, you're stabilizing your emotions, filtering your emotions. I feel like you're able to um, understand how to maneuver, how to accept the ebbs and flows of life. Five of Pentacles is feeling left out, feeling of not enough, the frustration, should have got more money, should have got that promotion. Should have got, would have, should have, could have, right? And the five of pentacles is uh, maybe you didn't make enough money on that past job, or maybe you're not making enough money now, or maybe, you know, you thought you were going to be invited to the table, or you thought you were going to th get that promotion, and you're, you know, you're still in that energy of disappointment of that thing, whatever it is, it will be different for each and every one of you that you thought was going to happen, or or you thought you were going to make more money off of that or whatever, right? But I think you're accepting with this Queen of Cups. You're accepting. And you're okay with that. Queen of Cups can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pis uh, Scorpio Pisces, but I don't think it's that. I think it's about you uh accepting and balancing your emotional energies even though there might be things you didn't you're right you didn't want to um uh, you didn't understand or you thought weren't fair right i think that um your Magic word here is receive, receive. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put receive, the word receive down below in the community, in the comment section, sorry, and be subscribed. I will pull one name at the end of the month in the live Sunday 28th, I believe. Yes, January 28th. At noon, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, I do lives every Sunday at that hour. If you want to connect, welcome, welcome. I hope to see you there. And members, if you're interested in uh, supporting the channel one step forward, um, members uh, get access to uh, a, a question during the live. Um, so, yes, receive, Aquarius, receive. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, for being here, for supporting this channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.